everyone, so today's video I'm going to be talking about my coming out story. Um, sorry my wee dog is like walking across my floor there if you can hear him. So I have spoke briefly in my some of my other videos about my coming out story but I'm going to chat about it in a little bit more detail in this video. So you might notice that I've got a new background Um, I decided to purchase a ring light and it's one of those things that I wish I'd bought years ago because it just makes life so much easier when you're filming YouTube videos. You can just use it as a tripod that's, you know, really big and put it anywhere. So I want to say thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who um, helped make this possible for me to, um, you know, purchase equipment to help build up my YouTube channel and make my videos a little bit better. So I was around 15 or 16 years old when I came out as transgender. Um, I was in high school and I was just really unhappy around that time. I was having a lot of anxiety. I had no friends and yeah, I just was too scared to even speak in high school because I was just worried that if I showed any femininity that I would get bullied. Um, I grew up in the outskirts of Glasgow and Scotland, um, you know, which, you know, if you know, Glasgow has a reputation as quite a tough city. And certainly back then it was, you know, it was scary to, to even be gay or show any femininity if you were a man. So I was like, just, I didn't, I didn't even speak in school because especially when I got to like, the older like high school I was too scared to speak because I thought if I show any femininity I could get bullied and I knew that my voice was always really feminine um you know I made daft attempts to try and like make my voice sound a bit more masculine or try to speak a bit more masculine but it didn't really work just all of my mannerisms were feminine and still are feminine so I just really was like this I don't know what to do. So I left high school uh, at the end of fourth year, which is the earliest point that you can legally leave high school. Um, we do have an optional fifth and sixth years where you can stay on if you want to get more exams, but I just had to leave because even though I probably would have stayed on ideally, I just thought I can't do this anymore. The last couple of years of high school, I was barely attending because my anxiety was just that bad and I was just really unhappy. Um, so as soon as I had the opportunity to go out of high school, I did. The first person that I told that I was transgender was my mum. Um, I told her through text. I just found that easier. Um, I think that she and the family knew that I was really unhappy, that, that mentally I was going through something. So I just kind of, it gave me the push because I kind of like wanted to tell her why I was unhappy and why I was kind of going through a lot of anxiety and things. Um, so it wasn't really like I could hide that I was going through something internally. Um, so that kind of gave me the courage a little bit to be able to tell my mum, even though it was just through text, because I thought she already knows that I'm unhappy anyway. She just doesn't know why. So my mum was supportive. She's always just wanted me to be happy. Um, she was just kind of confused because she didn't know much about what transgender meant and things like that. So it was a process of trying for my family, trying to learn um, just what it meant and what I needed to do to, to make me happy. When I left school, um, I had a time where I was just kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And I was just, trying to start transitioning really, uh, trying to start living and dressing as a woman. Um, so this was also around the time when social media was just starting. Um, and in the UK, I think it was Bebo was the popular one that everyone was using back then. Um, this, I'm talking probably around 2005, 2006, those sort of years. Um, and I remember creating my Bebo account and I just like had no friends. Um, and everyone was connecting with school friends and I just left school. So I kind of thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll add people that I went to school with on Bebo. And like, I don't know, I don't know what they thought of it to be honest, because they didn't know I was trans before. So I left school as a boy, I didn't transition in school. 
I kind of wanted to do it and I always had thoughts of like, I had like fantasies of changing my name and just moving to a different school and living as a girl in that school and no one knowing. Um, but I never really had the courage to go through with that. So as I say, I just left school at the first opportunity that I could. Um, and no one really knew kind of that, I'd, that I was transgender at that point. The time that they found out I was transgender was actually when I sent friend requests to people on, on Bebo, on this social media, as like Melissa, as my new self. Um, or I shouldn't say my new self, the real me, the real the real person that I am. I was just, all I was doing is really showing my true identity. So when I was at high school, um, I actually felt like a girl that was being forced to have short hair, forced to wear a boy's uniform. That's how I felt inside and that's how uncomfortable I felt. Um, it, even though I had male anatomy and I know that I was born a boy, inside I almost felt like I was being forced to be a boy, if that makes sense. Like I kind of, felt like I'm a, I'm a girl, but I'm being forced to go to school as a boy. Like that's kind of my way of trying to explain what gender dysphoria feels like and how much like uncomfortable it makes you feel because you just feel everything about being the gender that you were born just feels so wrong. Um, so like I was just so keen to show the people the real me because I, I wanted to like let them know why if they wondered like why I was kind of messed up in school and they you know was seemed really quiet and unhappy because a lot of people I wanted to make friends with but I was just as I say I was too scared to kind of be myself. I've always had the mentality that just because I'm transgender doesn't mean that I should you know miss out on things and live my life differently from other people so that's why I wanted to add everyone on Bebo and I don't know if they thought it was like a really brazen thing to do because they, a lot of people still would have actually been, what which I didn't really think about at the time, they would have still been at high school. So me sending a friend request, um, dressed as female, when I'd been at school as male, it would have been the talk of the school and everyone must have been talking about it. But at the time I didn't even think about it, like I was just kind of naively thinking that I just wanted friends and people, I just wanted to, you know, do what everyone else done on social media, connect with friends, connect with people that you went to school with. As I say, I'd just left school, so a lot of those people I knew, you know, they were a big part of my life because I'd been there every day. Um, so I kind of just thought, why can't I just do that? Everyone else is doing it. But looking back, it must have been like the talk of the school. Everyone must have been chatting about it. And it's not like a bad thing, but, you know, it's... I, I, I'm, I'm the type of person that I don't really like attention. Um, you know, what I, I don't even know if a lot of people would be surprised by that because being trans attracts attention to you, but that just proves that trans being transgender is not a choice. So I'm someone that doesn't like attention. I don't really like being the center of attention or anything like that. Um, so knowing that I would have been spoke about and everything, looking back, I think I just didn't really think about it. I didn't want to think about it, but at the same time, I also just wanted to use social media the same way as everyone else. Um, so that was my way of coming out to everyone in my hometown was just to add them on social media. Um, some people sent me messages and they were like, oh, well done. Other people were a little bit, you know, reserved and, still seem to not really like me, but you know, that's fair enough. So I don't know what people in my school thought, um, because I, as I say, if they, I don't know if they thought it was really brazen or really direct because I'd just left school a few months earlier as a boy and I was adding them on social media as a girl. Um, but I've always just been a real people person. I've always just wanted to be friends with everyone and enjoy connecting with people. So I thought, why should I miss out on connecting with old school friends on Bebo just because I'm trans. And there's a really important uh, phrase that I live by. It's those who matter or those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Um, so that basically just means that those who truly want the best for you are the ones that you should keep in your life. And, you know, 
people that want the best for you will stick around no matter what. And I do really go by that phrase, I live by that phrase because I do think it's true. I think that if someone has your best interests at heart, then they will just want you to do what's happy and what makes you happy. So when my close family knew that I was sure that this is how I wanted to live, that I was definitely female inside and just wanted to live my life as a woman, they had a family meeting and told the rest of the family. And yeah, everyone just accepted me as I am. And the more that people got to know me and, you know, just got to know how I felt, they all accepted me and they all realised that this was my truth and this was, you know, the way that I had to live my life to be happy. Um, and everyone's been really supportive and great. I, I might sound as if it was easy and simple, but I had a lot of stress and anxiety coming out. Um, you know, sending that text to my mum was, was really hard and I, I was shaking doing it. And even adding people on social media from school and things, as much as it was something that I did, I was stressed out doing it. It was a scary thing to do. But I think the amount of stress and anxiety I had living as a boy was less than the anxiety of coming out. So I think that's kind of what made me be able to do it. Because as I say, I was really stressed and anxious, feeling like I was forced, not f obviously no one was forcing me. I just felt that like society was forcing me to be living as a boy because that's how I was born. Um, you know, you couldn't just turn up one day dressed as a girl without people mentioning it or asking questions. So I kind of felt trapped as a boy for a while and all that anxiety and stress of doing that and depression, that was worse than coming out. So for me, and you know, you, you've got to think about that. You've got, if you are struggling to come out to people, you've got to just think how you're going to feel once the dust settles. It's going to be scary at first, but in the long run, you're going to be happier than you are now if you're hiding a secret, if you're hiding your true self. Um, you're going to be happier in the long run. And as much as it is scary, you are going to be happier once it's out there. And coming out is not going to be as scary as living your life, hiding who you are. I mean, there was times where, you know, I thought, am I being selfish? Um, am I doing the right thing? You know, is it selfish for me to be causing so much drama in the family? You know, now looking back, I'm like, of course I wasn't selfish. It's I, I would just be myself and doing what I had to do. But it wasn't easy. There was so much emotions and so much, you know, even like things like guilt, because you do think, is this the right thing? Um, I don't want to cause drama. I don't want to cause upset to, to people. So it's not easy, uh, but you will get through it. And as I say, everything will work out. If you know you've got the people around you who truly care about you, they're going to be so happy. I mean, I came out, you know, this is like 15 years ago now. It's so much different now. People are going to be so much more accepting. And I think once people realise that you're, you know, you're happy, they're going to be happy for you. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you thought of my video and if you do need any advice leave a comment as well and I will try my best to help you. Um, so thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!